Lawmakers also gave final approval to a first-of-its-kind law. It's aimed at giving survivors of child sexual assault their day in court. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, explains this highly controversial bill is now headed to the governor's desk. This bill would allow survivors of child sexual assault for the first time to sue institutions like the Catholic Church and Boy Scouts if their assault happened because that institution turned a blind eye to other abuse. For years, lawmakers have wrestled with how to give these survivors justice. Problem is, the state constitution bars retroactive claims for existing laws. So this bill creates a new claim in a new law that targets the cover-up that led to the abuse. Ray Desser was 13 years old when the sexual abuse started and life as he knew it ended. My thing was I just prayed to die every day. I could not live with this anymore. It would take 25 years before he could talk about it. By then, the statute of limitations had expired, and with it, any hope for justice until now. I just got tired of my family and myself being a doormat, and so I've kind of put my life on hold, and I've been part of this process from womb to tomb. Helping to pass a law unlike any in the country. It would allow survivors of child sexual assault to sue if their abuse was the result of a cover up. Because what the real issue is, is the cover up. And that's what we heard time and time again is the cover up cut short the ability to ever have the evidence. Representatives Matt Soper and Daphna Michelson Janae, sponsors of the bill, that opponents say is unfair in that it caps damages for public entities that engage in a cover up at $387,000 and for private entities at $500,000 to $1 million. The victimization is treated differently between the private and the public. Area. Michelson Janae says she doesn't like it either, but it was a compromise for the greater good. If we try to fix that additional problem on the back of this bill, we risk taking away that opportunity for survivors. In the end, Desser says it's not about money, it's about accountability. When I got involved in this, it was purely selfish, but then after seeing other people, because you know there's somebody watching that didn't have the courage to do what I'm doing, and it's just been one of those things where we have to do something. Under the bill, survivors who were abused between 1960 and 2022 will have three years to file a lawsuit. Earlier this year, lawmakers lifted the statute of limitations for sex assault cases going forward. Even supporters of this bill admit its constitutionality will almost certainly be challenged in court. But they say better to err on the side of survivors, and they believe the law will stand. At the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.